you've made it to the end of 2023. I know it's been a very long year, but I'm proud of you for making it out here. And you also made the conscious decision to click on my video. For those of you that know me, you guys know what you're in for. And for any potential new viewers, I want you to get up right now, go get some food, come back, make yourself comfortable, and enjoy the show. Now let's get started. First place that Viv and I are going to be eating at is It Sushi. The allure of this restaurant is that it's an omakase for $10 USD. So let's check it out. 10 pieces for 12,901. Crazy. But we're not going to be doing that today. This is 12 pieces. I think Viv and I are just gonna to commit to this one. By the way, if you do come here, I do know that there is a time that you have to come by for it and the pieces, you're probably not getting the best selection of fish. This is what the inside of the restaurant looks like. We're not expecting the best of the best, yeah, the best, of the best super high quality, like omakase, but as long as it tastes good and it doesn't get us sick, I'm more than happy. First bite, here we go. Mm. What I like is how big the fish is as well. They don't skimp on the portion size. Dude, it's a nine out of 10, purely just based off of price. I'm liking the quality of the fish. I'm liking the rice. I would definitely come back here. Tuna, first bite, here we go. So this one actually has tenjang on top, which is soybean paste. Very interesting. First bite, here we go. Mmm. Wow, that was a combo of flavors that I've never even had with fish before. That was delicious. And here is the last piece of the 12 piece set. A hand roll with shrimp tempura. Looks delicious. Cheers. Mmm. Delicious. That's all I gotta say, delicious. Mm -hmm. That was phenomenal. I gotta go to Japan because I'm sure they can do insane magic with tempura. He's actually gonna top us off with some roasted eggplant. Never mind, it's fried, not roasted. I'm stupid. I can't imagine eggplant being like that good, but first bite, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> no, what the f? <laughs> what the hell? And for dessert, we have a little milk panna cotta cube. That was so much flavor, nine out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it. How about you? Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it too, man. <laughs> I just say it like that. Fish was nothing special, despite me like nutting over it. It was just phenomenal for the price. But then again, like the fish didn't blow my mind and it didn't blow me either. So <laughs> whatever, that was a dumb joke, I'm sorry. I would definitely go back. What about you, Viv? I'm so full. That's it? Yep. Okay. That was delicious. And uh, I would definitely go back if I lived there. And I was craving some sushi, but I wanted to pay cheap prices. Nice. Or affordable price is what I'll say. Bib and I are gonna go on a walk now. We're gonna walk that off. And I'll see you guys later tonight. How are you guys doing? I'm back home now and Viv hates me. Viv hates me a lot, so she left. She went to go eat dinner with a friend of hers that lives in Korea. I was not invited, girls night. That's cool, I guess. I'm not salty about it. I'm just home alone uh, by myself, just lonely and whatnot. I am hungry. I don't feel like going outside, so I'm just going to eat what we have here and that is going to be some cereal. <laughs> Terrible news, I don't have milk. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna overcome this together. It's too cold to be going outside to get some milk. Cereal and water is not even that bad. It's also definitely not the best. But I'm definitely not drinking this water. Ooh, maybe I'll go outside, get some food, I don't know. Here's what's stopping me from going outside and getting food. One, it's freezing. Here's what's tempting me to go outside. I'm hungry. Place your bets now. Am I gonna get food tonight or no? Hmm. Stick around, cause you guys are about to find out. Three, two, 
one. If you bet on me going outside to go eat, that was the easiest bet of your life. We're going to Niku King. I just want to eat a fat burger right now. All right, never mind. I just took a colossal L. Last order was 30 minutes ago. F me. All right, now I just gotta find something else to eat. Even though I really, really wanted a burger, guys. But now I'm worried that I won't find a good burger to eat. I gave up on my burger dream tonight. There was nothing open. I just decided, let me go to one of those, you know, food stands outside where the Haimuni sell the tteokbokki and the odeng. So I, I come here to my favorite spot. They're just not here. Usually there's one right there and another stall right there, but nothing today. I've walked around for 20 minutes now and I've just gotten fucked. We really got to find food though, because I have not eaten in about five hours, so I am in danger. All right, I didn't want it to come down to this, but we're just going to go to a convenience store. It's my last resort. We are back and I got myself a toshira. Very simple. You guys have seen me eat this probably like four or five times now. And then we also got some cup ramyeon. This is shin ramyeon doredo. Rice, egg, chicken, hamburg steak, kimchi, spinach, fish cake. Very delicious. And then we also have our ramyeon. But what about a beverage? We got some kompyo lemon beer. I'm a pretty big fan of this. So I'm going to have myself a nice little glass. Not gonna drink too much tonight, but I also did get a bottle of Seto, some zero sugar soju. So we're going to be making some somek, which is just a mixture of soju and mekju, which is beer. Cheers. Woo! <sighs> oh, I do have to do some work tonight, but should be okay as long as we go light. All right, lamion's ready. Looks al dente enough. And we're going to dig in. <laughs> Hmm, we got cooked with the burger spot being closed, the harmony stand not being there, but it's all good. Honestly, a meal like this doesn't really get much better. First bite, here we go. <coughs> but it's really good, wow. <coughs> I love it. I love it here. This plate of food, plus the ramyeon, plus this bottle of soju was manon, $7.70. Crazy. The beer I had in my fridge from a different day. Oh, what am I doing? This is nuts. You go to any pocha, any suji in New York City, they're gonna charge you a fucking arm and a leg for a bottle of soju. It's, it's so gross. It's like $17. Like, what is that? I'm kind of addicted to this ramen. <laughs> Cheers, if any of you guys are drinking at home. By the way, I'm very sorry if you thought today was gonna be a little bit more exciting. Trying to make the best of what we got. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little tipsy for sure. Cheers. I'm loving it. I actually did have the idea of going to McDonald's today after uh, I realized that Niku King was closed. But I was like, nah. Do I really want to eat McDonald's? Like, I'm not trying to eat fast food. <laughs> We finished the Toshira, the ramyeon is pretty much gone. We do have one more somek left, a little bit of soju left. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little tipsy right now. So here's the plan. Ah. drink this soup so bad. Someone please stop me. No. All right, I'm not gonna drink all of it. Mm. Uh, I just drink all of it? Just like this for the joke. Mm. I shouldn't do that. Uh, I left a little bit. Self-control guys. Why is Doredo kind of spicy? Yeah, I'm pretty much sober now. 
And now I'm going to get back into editing. I'll probably edit the footage that you guys are seeing right now. Aha ha. If I fall asleep, I'll let you guys know. <sighs> it's been so long since we have banana milk. Also got some almond bread. And this is going to be my breakfast. Bread, custard, and then almonds on top. Very good. Strap on, put your strap-ons on, strap in. It's gonna be a very fun day. It is currently 15 degrees, as you can see by the, uh, yeah, it's cold outside. I myself have my little foreskin neck warmer. <laughs> we are looking for food, and the place we are going to is about two hours away, so I'll see you guys there. Don't get excited, we're just getting water. Don't worry, the convenience store video is coming soon. Oh, she was thirsty. It's like giving Chug me a brain freeze. Are <laughs> uh, you good? Fun fact, since waking up today, Viv has not drank water. I don't know why. She'll drink coffee, eat some snacks. I don't know what else she did to be honest, but I got a fun fact for the ladies out there, all right? If you wake up, you're feeling low energy. You're feeling like your skin's not looking so hot. If your tummy hurts, drink some water. Hey, do you endorse that message? Please, if you're feeling <laughs> down, <laughs> just drink water, okay? And Sharon, if you're watching this, drink some water. Three, two, one. If this looks different from Hongdae or Yeonandong, it's because we're in Chinchon right now, which is, dude, I don't really know. I just got here myself. Can you just tell, us, tell them where we're going so we don't have to tell them every neighborhood we walk through? Damn. Yo, she doesn't love you guys like I do, all right? At the end of the day, I'm for you guys. Oh, where could we possibly be right now? Ooh la la. Oh, who knows? I might pull out a ring today. Nah, guys, trust me. The day it happens, the video won't be what I eat in Korea. It'll be, we got married. Oh, no, no. The video title will be, life update, we're engaged. And then the marriage video will be, life update, we got married. How you guys doing? We are stopped in the middle of the street because Viv says she wants a hug. She's been a little stressed out lately with work. Last week was her busiest week and uh, they're about to hit the holidays soon. That's why we're taking this long ass walk and we're gonna go eat somewhere that Viv really wants. Yeah, I'm the best. I'm goaded. Yeah, you're goaded. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh man, that was scary. You gotta be careful of that kind of stuff, man. What's Viv taking a photo of? Just a bunch of bonsai trees that also say, Sebok Mani Padu Seyo. That's what Korean people say when they want to say Happy New Year's. Sarang Hey. I am Wegguk Sarang. Now, this, this is very cool. As you can see, there are people in this train and the family is saying goodbye. This is what Train to Busan was based off of. You know, it's like so sad. What? Some people really take your jokes so seriously. <laughs> we're almost there, guys. We actually walked by a Popeyes and we were super <laughs> tempted to get Popeyes. But we said, nah, not today. I'm loving the view of the <coughs> mountains over there. Yeah, I see the palace as well. Yeah. We're not going there today though. It has been about two hours now and Viv and I are getting very close. So it's actually next to Kwanjang Shijang, which is a market that Viv and I went to last year. Did I not? No. Oh, never mind. Scratch that. Apparently I didn't put it in the video, so I'll just scratch that completely. The place that we're going to specializes in yuke and nakji, which is raw beef tartare and also live octopus. Oh damn. So there is going to be a wait. And here is the restaurant. 
It's actually packed inside right now. All I can ask for is that it's worth the wait and the walk. Two hour walk. Pu Chon Yuke. It's raw beef tartare or raw beef tartare with octopus. Baby octopus. Look how many people are inside. Absolutely packed. My ears are uh, defrosting. Viv and I walked five miles to get here and it took us two hours and we are finally here. As you can see, it's a very popular restaurant. Here is the UK with the octopus. You can see that it's still alive and moving about. It's really cool when you eat this because sometimes when you bite into them, they like stick to the, your, uh, your mouth and it, it's like a little sucky feeling. And then we also just have a uh, regular UK right here and we're going to be making bibimbap with it. All of this came out literally in, in two minutes. It's only like 4.30 right now, but I think we're gonna drink a little bit. You guys might think it's a little early for that, but, but this kind of meal you just gotta drink stuff with. Viv has been mixing this up as I've been talking, and surely this is going to be very delicious. I am super, super excited. We also have sesame oil, uh, salt and pepper here for us to dip it in, and then some lovely soup. I'm pretty sure this is kalbitang, but I'll have to taste it to know. Oh, there's also pear at the bottom here, which is very nice. Let's get all those microgreens mixed in. First bite, here we go. I don't like it. I love it. Ah, I can see why this place had a line. The thing is, is I've had better yuke. Mmm. Actually, have I? It is really good. This octopus is not letting go of the, the plate, Jesus. Even though this octopus leg has clearly been cut off, it's still moving because I actually just learned this in a Mark Rober video yesterday, but it's because octopus, a third of their neurons are in their brains and the rest of them are in their tentacles. So even though they get cut off, the tentacles can still move independently of like the main body, which is insane to me, which is super cool. I learned that octopus are very, very intelligent. And here is the peeping bump. Mmm. Oh wait, we need water. I was a little apprehensive because I didn't see much, uh, much marbling on it, but you know, it's very good. I'm enjoying this a lot, dipped in the sesame oil. You think this was worth the walk? Oh yeah, baby. Nine out of 10. You think so too? Turns out that restaurant is actually a Michelin guide. It's a one money sign Michelin guide. I had no idea. Last week we went to a Michelin guide Komtang restaurant and I was like, yo, Michelin guides are overrated. Not this one, I take back my words. Not all of them, most of them. But this one was definitely worth it. It was 46,001, which is it's about $35. That's including the soju that we had, so. Pretty good meal. As you can see, it is now approaching nighttime. The sun is setting. It's only like 5.30, I think. It is freezing, colder than it was before. Like actually freezing right now. The, the temperature is 15 degrees right now, which is actually what it was before. I hope the GoPro footage is good. It's, it doesn't do very well in the dark, but we are now going to Naxan Park. Cool skyline of Seoul and it's nice, nice hikes and Stairs and vibes, that's it. I guess we'll see you guys there. We're not taking the subway, we're just crossing underneath the subway to go to the other side. Hey, 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 chill. Dude, whenever we go up the stairs, she tries putting her finger in my ass. Plus, it's like easy access. It is all uphill. Viv's tired, I'm not. At the restaurant, I ate all the garlic. So every time I'm breathing in and out, I just taste the garlic. And it was nice at first, but now I'm getting kind of sick of it. All right, we made it. To be completely honest with you, it's really nothing special. <laughs> I mean, yeah, actually, 
I guess it's nice. It kind of reminds me of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, like the intro. Lighting's not great, so let me turn on the flashlight for you guys. There you go. Viv and I have been chilling on this bench. I've actually been waiting until I caught my breath so that I would look cool in front of you guys, but <laughs> we're gonna go back down now. To be honest, it's probably nicer uh, during sunset, but we did not get there in time. By the way, uh, we're walking down right now, but along the way, there's you know a few cafes that you can stop by at for some coffee and drinks. Yeah, so it's not completely dead. Viv's in that 7-Eleven right there, cause she says, my garlic breath is unbearable and she doesn't want to talk to me since my breath smells like garlic. But anyway, the Naxxon Trail is like right there where the lights are, you see? We just left and now we are on our way back home. So it's going to be like a two hour, 30 minute walk. Why'd you get me this gum? Your breath smells like garlic. We're actually back where we uh, were walking earlier and we got one more block to go before we get to our destination. Send me, oh, that's location, sorry. Until we get to our, wow, ah, joke's over, whatever. Hey, you might be able to see it off into the distance over there. We are going to Popeyes, baby. You excited, Viv? <laughs> hey, I was gonna open that for you, by the way. I want you guys to know, as soon as we walked in, it smells amazing. Look at all the families eating here. It's gonna be a very good dine time. Dine-in, right? Yeah, yeah, dine-in. They do sell beer here, which is pretty cool. <laughs> they also sell Ben and Jerry's here for some reason. Wow, the Popeyes here is definitely a little bit more aesthetic than the ones at home. A lot of them just have kiosks, which is pretty typical here. For those of you that don't know, in Korea, and I'm sure a lot of the world, does American fast food very well. All right, let's break this down. To start us off, we got some sweet chicken and rice. The fries, they look very seasoned, which is very nice. I think, uh, oh my God, just fell apart in my hand. The Korean Popeye biscuit, it looks delicious. Oh my God, dude, that bun is crazy. Look at the shine on that. <laughs> oh yo, it's literally shining, holy. Part of the biscuit fell off, but I'm gonna eat it now. It looks like a scone. First bite, here we go. Dude, look at the bread. This is not a Popeye's biscuit. It is so soft. It's got the consistency of like mashed potatoes. Sweet chicken and rice, first bite, here we go. Way too sweet for me, but the chicken itself, phenomenal. Let's see the fry. I'll give it to the Popeye's at home. The fries here are not as good. Let's be honest. The Popeye's chicken sandwich back at home is not very good. Like, that's nice. First bite, here we go. Oh my God, oh my God. That shit squirted, Viv. It is amazing. Did you expect it to be that juicy? Cause I did not. I'm gonna to lick my goddamn fingers. That is a proper chicken sandwich. It's probably a top five meal I've had here so far. The UK that we had earlier today, that was really good. That was a nine out of 10. This is a 9.5 out of 10. When's the last time you had a, when's the last time you had a wet chicken nugget? I'll see you guys at home. That was delicious. Did you have a good time? Was that the best meal of my life? Nah, but it was really, really good. And I would love to come back to Popeye's before we leave. Do I feel amazing after eating that chicken sandwich? To be honest, not really. I could definitely go to sleep right now. And now Viv and I, are on our way home. We got about an hour walk back and we've walked like what, nine miles already? Nice. Viv and I are in Sangdo, Sangdo Tong right now. We just took care of some legal business that we had to, you know, tie up. Anyway, I'm here with Viv and Viv's uncle. But we are walking towards uh, lunch right now. It's all you can eat, which is super exciting. I'm sure you guys know me and all you can eat go very well together. All right, here it is. Su da chong. Never mind, there seems to be a wait, so we're gonna wait out here for a little bit. You excited? Pretty small restaurant, but here's the exciting part. I'm not gonna get too much rice. All right, and over here we have a variety of panchans. We got pickled seaweed, 
it's not pickled. Okay, never mind. Kimchi, kunamul, bean sprouts, spinach. Yeah, we got shredded ozingo, some spicy squid. Gonna get a little broccoli. And this is the money maker right here. Bonka pork cutlet. We went light on the carbs so we could stack that. Yo, you guys see why I was excited to come here? Here is some odenkuk, so fish cake soup. This is beautiful, you know? Just look at it, and it's all you can eat. With nunchi, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with nunchi, yeah, yeah. Total cost is uh, 27,000 won, which is 27,000 won for three people. And it's all you can eat, and come on, man. It should be pretty good. Fresh bite, here we go. What do you think? It's delicious. It's so good. That was a really good meal. The soup was also very good. But the best part about this place is that you can actually get seconds. And because I was able to eat everything my first round, I've been able to narrow down what I don't and do like. So I'm gonna get a new bowl with my updated preferences. All right, here is round two. I ended up just getting everything that I did the first time because it was all so delicious and yummy. Yeah, this is a banger meal. I'm gonna put my camera away and just finish this up. I'll see you guys after. A very good meal, but I'm not gonna eat the rice because I'm on a diet. I definitely ate a little bit more than I should have. <laughs> but I mean, like, how can you not do when it's all you can eat, you know? Like, it's so awesome. Oh, dude, I had eight pieces of tonkatsu for 9,000 won. That's crazy. Yo, this is some Jujutsu Kaisen Subway sh I'm gonna turn the corner and boom. Now we're just heading back home. We'll figure out something to do uh, later tonight. Feeling a little lethargic. I may or may not have eaten a little bit too much at lunch. It's no big deal though. What we're gonna do right now is go back to the Airbnb. I am going to my brains out. But aside from that, we're just going to rest up a little bit and then we'll head back out. We're probably gonna go on a walk so that we can upkeep the whole walking at least eight miles a day and then find somewhere to eat dinner. Sound good? Sound good. Yep. What did Eric do for the last three and a half hours? Yeah, exactly. He fell asleep. And then I watched Survivor season 40, final last two episodes. Amazing season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Er Eric says he's sorry for falling asleep. While we were walking back home, I told you guys, I said, I feel like I could fall asleep at any moment now. So I knew it was coming. I just couldn't do anything to prevent it. I'm really, really sorry, but Viv and I are gonna walk to Hapjong now which is about a 30 minute walk away and we are gonna go eat some mala. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is dark outside. It's about 7.15 p.m. I want to record the walk, but the GoPro doesn't do very well in, you know, bad lighting. So probably won't get a lot of footage. So I'll just see you guys at the restaurant. Breaking news, six feet tall, somewhat intelligent man figures out that by using the lighting outside he can record on his gopro oh really i guess yeah <laughs> so you guys might be wondering why we're going to hapjong when we're in yonondong which is an area with a lot of good food it just boils down to viv and i wanting to explore more of seoul instead of just being stuck in this one area we were also here last year so why not go out to yeah whatever explore i don't want to sound redundant let's go i'm very excited to eat something spicy Spicy. Also, I want to go here so badly. <laughs> the T1 base camp. I think it's a PC bong. <laughs> Maybe I'll meet my hero there. I want to go. I want to see it. Okay. And here we are at a restaurant called Tao. So we are outside the restaurant right now. And we're actually waiting, which is a pretty good sign because it is a Monday night. And for the whole restaurant to be packed and for there to be two parties in front of us, I'm willing to bet that it's pretty good. All right, so inside this restaurant, when you walk in, there is a selection 
of various ingredients that you can put into your hot pot bowl. Here's what the restaurant looks like, pretty cozy. But this is very cool. Once you assemble your bowl, they weigh it over there. And depending on the weight, you pay a certain amount, obviously. And they just cook it for you. You could choose between like stir fry mala or mala tang, which is like a soup. So. And if you would like some meat, like some good stuff, you can order it at, I'm guessing at the counter. Yang bogi is lamb and so is beef. Personally, I would like some of this. Okay, like this? Yeah. What else? And I want Ooh, the kogoma. Yeah. This taro. Taro dog? Yeah. Tubu? I feel like four. Okay. <laughs> Some ramyun, which is gonna be very nice. Oh, oh, let's get mandu. Let's get mandu. Dumplings. Anything else? Anything uh, here? You don't want spam? Let's get two slices. Three. Three. 1,125 grams, which is gonna come out to a little less than 25,000 won. So we got this as an appetizer. It seems like a similar concept to tangsuyu. If you're uh, Chinese, let me know in the comments what this is called. Cheers. First bite, here we go. Mmm. It's literally tangsuyu. I like this better though. The, the skin is like crispier. Yeah, the sauce is very similar though. And for those of you that don't know what tangsuyu is, I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, sweet and sour pork that's fried. Really good. Bib and I gotta make it out to China one day. I love the food. Not a huge fan of uh, Jinping, whatever his name is, but yeah, the food's fire. Definitely top three cuisine in my life. You a fan? Yeah, Viv just ate all of this. She must love it. Oh, oh, oh my God. All right, so Viv and I were hesitant to split this because we wanted our own. <laughs> but look at the size of this thing. Jesus, dude, this thing is enormous. And it looks amazing. Oh my god, it smells so f good. Oh, the lamion's gonna be so nice. Oh, by the way, we ended up getting pork as our meat. Oh, they cut the noodles for us too. Very nice. All right, so here's how we're gonna attack this. We're just gonna take out what's inside, the contents, into our little bowl here, and then drink the soup out of this. First bite, here we go. It's delicious. Yeah, this is definitely not as oily or heavy as you would get it at like a, you know, bona fide Chinese restaurant. It's definitely altered for like Korean taste and preferences. Very, very good. And it's got spice to it. We didn't get the spiciest version of it because we wanted to have a good time tonight, you know, like in the bathroom. But it's still very flavorful and very good. I think I prefer the taste of Sichuan mala, like real Sichuan, but I can appreciate this for not making me feel like absolute garbage after I finish eating this, because it's definitely lighter, but it's very good. Uh, the way I'll describe it is that I don't feel bad about drinking the broth. I love the glass noodles. I kind of wish we got more. Mm. I'm glad we came here. Also, if you're not feeling the soup, you can actually opt to get it dry like this. You can just get it stir fried, which also looks very delicious, but Viv and I were in the mood for something a little soupy today, because it is very cold. Mm. Oh, the spam is so good. <laughs> it's really good, right? Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you guys after. So Viv and I are pretty much done here. We aren't going to finish all of the soup because that would be overkill, but we did our absolute best to finish everything inside so that we ate pretty much everything that we paid for. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna, I'll see you guys outside. I'm gonna say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It's not like amazing, but I really liked it. If this area looks familiar to you, it shouldn't because we've never been here before. <laughs> <laughs> but we're walking along the Hangang River, which we actually did, I think like two videos ago, but this is like a different path. There's the river right there. You can't see it very well. Maybe uh, later in the walk. I'll get a better better angle of it. Your head looks like the tip of a condom that's been pumped in. Like, you know how the <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, they know. Wait, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a good one, babe. Yeah. yeah. Black like markings oh. on this would look like Law's hat. It'd be pretty I know. cool. Who do you like better? Zoro or me? 
Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a better view, but unfortunately, I don't think the GoPro is very nice with its uh, image quality. Maybe I'll just rip off a photo from Google Images and then put it over this video and you guys can pretend that's what it looks like. We are leaving the Hangang Path. Uh, it's been about three and a half miles now. We actually could walk more, but the reason that we gotta go is because I really have to go poo. And there are public bathrooms, but I just have so much clothing on that it would be difficult for me to actually go poo. All right, we are back in Hongda. It's a Tuesday, people are going out, which is kind of crazy, but it is winter break here in Korea, so people are back. Oh, it's Monday? And uh, yeah, people are back from universities and college because it's winter break, so they're all partying right now, but not us. Some of you guys might be waiting for Viv and I to go out to a club, but we're gonna go back home and do some laundry after I take a shit. How you guys doing? I'm finally back home. Uh, Viv and I are just getting ready to do laundry. We got like two bags of laundry to go. I'm completely naked right now because all my clothes are dirty. I don't have any underwear left. So I'm just gonna go to the laundry room wearing my jacket and uh, some pants. And yeah, this is where we do our laundry. I walked by multiple people and in my head I was like, hey, I'm naked and you have no idea. <laughs> what? Oh really? Oh, <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll do that, we'll do that. Time to do some laundry. <laughs> Raise your hand if you noticed that Viv did not touch the laundry. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay, anyway. Hear me out. It's actually a really nice walking commando. It, it feels like I have an air conditioner on my ass. Blowing your ass there <laughs> to the side. Fun fact, and let me know if you guys had fun hearing this fact. I have a crazy amount of ass hair. I can validate that claim. I do have clothes back on, although there is higher than a 50% chance that I don't have underwear on or pants. Today we did walk a little less than 10 miles, which is still more than the eight mile goal that we set for ourselves since coming to Korea. Uh, as a matter of fact, yesterday, I forgot to update you guys, but Viv and I walked a half marathon in total. So very happy about that. Anyway, the time is like 2 a.m. right now. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. By the way, doesn't this lamp look a little flat? We just finished and it's not even resolved yet. I've been in this office for about two hours. The commute took two hours. We have to go back. It's gonna take another two hours and it's already dark outside. It ended up being an absolute waste of a day. All right, we just got back home and you guys got robbed of a day of filming. But there's just been a lot of complications and quite frankly the people here don't know what they're doing so it's all a mess it's all super convoluted way more than it has to be and we're just getting wrong information and so it's really frustrating viv and i are taking a breather right now and we are going to head out to eat some food because we haven't eaten anything all day so i'm also a little hangry what are you in the mood for to eat i just like really want meat too you want meat yeah when viv says she wants meat <laughs> we're gonna get some meat in like a super not sexual way. But are we going to drink tonight? Yes. <laughs> okay. As you can see, there is a lot of people here. Oh, i Every time we walk by this place, there's a huge line. On weekends, it's pretty much impossible to get in. But we came here on a Tuesday and hopefully it's just a good meal. Also, it's cheap as f It's a little early to be drinking, but since we are having some group side, it's a good time to drink. Also, damn, I'm having a romantic dinner, but I can't even see her. So the pork belly actually comes circumcised. I don't know why they do it for you, but it is what it is. I would have preferred cutting it to, you know, for the cinematic video part, whatever. Also, the samgyeopsal comes like a little cooked, which is kind of nice, I guess. For cheap samgyeopsal, it looks pretty good. First bite, here we go. Oh, oh. I'm gonna be honest, I was ready to shit on it. There's a lot of foreigners here, so I just thought it was like a tourist trap, but it's really good, <laughs> right? Oh my God, I was not expecting that. It's so cheap, I just did not expect that. 
for one serving. We got two servings, so that's 26,000 won total. That is crazy, crazy cheap. Back in the city, this would probably run you, one serving would run you that amount. To be honest, it would probably cost you more than that. You said you wanted meat, does this hit? The panchan is nothing special. This is what you come here for, and I'd say it's worth it. You guys can see here, this is the kind of texture that Viv likes. Boom, she likes it very crispy. My name is Money Sign Eric, and I endorse this restaurant. And it is foreign friendly, if you guys weren't able to tell. I'll see you guys at the next serving. Uh, it's gonna be in like two minutes, actually. I don't know why I even said that. Here is round two. I know it's not the sexiest thing when you see it half cooked, half raw. My mom already sees you as her son. Viv really, really liked the mushrooms, so we just got an entree of them and they're cooking on the side right here. All right, you want a drink? You want a drink? My queen. Ah. So this was an extra two servings. We might get two more, who knows? What do you think? <laughs> if Viv is down for seconds or thirds, like, you know it's good. Also, we're starving. Literally our first meal today, we are starving. I know we haven't finished the meal yet, but I have my rating, 8.5 out of 10. Personally, I just think that the price carries really hard and the taste is very acceptable. It's more than acceptable, it's very satisfactory. I actually don't even know the name of this restaurant, but when we're done eating, I'll take a video outside. All right, and here is the last round. We're gonna call it a night after this, but it's been an absolutely lovely meal. Viv and I were talking about what we like about it so much, and it's definitely the price. We see why it's so packed on the weekend. You come in here, you get your food fast, you eat a lot of meat, and then you go out to drink after. It's a great spot. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, sure. Oh my God. Let me just pay real quick. <laughs> What's your name? Eden. Eden, nice to meet you. I was, I applied to Vanderbilt. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you get in? No. Okay, don't worry, you're not, you're not missing out on anything. But nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. So this is the restaurant featured in the New York Times, allegedly. Good luck finding that, guys. Good luck. Or you can follow Viv on Belly where she rates all of her meals at every restaurant she goes to, and you guys will see where this place is at. I, I'm genuinely not trying to gatekeep, I just don't know the address. And some people have asked me this last year, but they wanna know if Korea is foreign friendly. And if you wanna get around, sure it is. But if you really want the best dining experience, I would definitely recommend either knowing Korean or having like a Korean friend that can guide you around. That place we just ate at was bomb thebomb.com. They actually do have other meats, but Korea's baseline for pork is very good, so you can't really go wrong with that. Then again, there are also thousands of Samgyeopsal places that you can go to. All right, and my only recommendation is if you ever eat Korean barbecue in Korea, don't get chicken, okay? <laughs> yeah. Even in the US, just don't get chicken. Where are we going right now? Tell them, Viv. Baskin Robbins. You may be wondering how we ended up from going towards Baskin Robbins to Chikor for Viv to buy some more makeup, skincare stuff. Turns out we're not gonna go to Baskin Robbins today because we just decided it was way too cold. And there's a cafe that we wanted to go to instead of Baskin Robbins, but they're close too. Like the, the timing is just bad right now. Viv and I are desperately looking for a cafe that's open or something that's selling pastries and sweets. We need it. I'm, so, I'm such a sweet tooth right now. <laughs> All right, Viv and I can't find a place. We're gonna go to Pioneer John. What are you looking for? It's just something that's gonna like hit that spot. That's me. I already know what I want. So I have a few things at home that I'm going to snack on, but I'm looking for bread. Strawberry cream bread. I'm sure it'll be good. And never mind, I'm gonna put this away. And I'm gonna get this kokuma bread instead, sweet potato. I know many of you are interested in Viv's skincare that she bought in Korea, and I promise you, it'll be coming out in next week's video. 
<laughs> she's just lazy right now. I asked her to show you guys and she said no. But right, next week, next week. Time to eat my little snack here. And also this. The other day I did buy a banana milk, which is what you saw me drink at the beginning of this video. Except this is a Merona banana milk. You guys know like the melon ice cream bars? It's flavored like melon, I guess. I think a lot of you that don't know what banana milk is go to Korea thinking it's gonna be some legendary drink, but it's, it's literally just flavored milk, guys. It's like strawberry chocolate milk in the US. Anyway, first bite, here we go. Oh my God, holy shit, Viv. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh. oh my God, how did they do that? I take it back, I take it back, it's godly. It's amazing. It is very sweet though. So if you're not into that, you should probably stay away. I'm gonna try this sweet potato bread now. So when you open it up, it looks very thick until you realize that it's actually like four layers of bread. Interesting. And, oh, look at this. There seems to be a layer. I think this is like custard. I have no idea what that is. It's definitely not an egg, but something sweet. First bite, here we go. Oh, look, you can kind of see it here. It's like yellow. Sweet potato. It's like kokuma puree, sweet potato puree. The bread itself, this like sponge bread, it's pretty dry, but it just works. Delightful. We're gonna try this next. I'm really sorry that we ended up just eating snacks at home. I, we really got robbed of a day today. Here's what the packaging looks like. Dude, this thing is tiny. Yeah, so this is definitely chocolate with orange cream filling. First bite, here we go. Yo, low key, it's delicious. Is it? Yeah, it kind of tastes like toothpaste though. Oh, you don't like it. Yeah, it's, it's the- It's the cream filling, cream, yeah. yeah. This is not great. Like the orange cream filling tastes like toothpaste, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's actually delicious, personally. You guys are insane if you guys think I'm gonna finish this entire box today. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Ah, it really tastes like toothpaste. Mmm. Mmm. No, this is, this is what it tastes like. It tastes like orange trident layers. Boom. To be honest though, the star of the show is this drink. Oh, so good. This bread, it's like a five out of 10. It's only good right now because I'm craving something sweet and bready. This toothpaste, like whatever you want to call it, probably like a, like a four out of 10, but it's delicious. That's just ridiculous. I could eat more, but I'm not going to because that would be very irresponsible of me. Now it is time for me to edit, so I will be doing that. Super sorry that today was boring. Super, super sorry. By the way, as I'm editing, I'm seeing the clip, I'll just open the clip, I guess, where Eden is telling me that she didn't get into Vanderbilt. But for those of you that didn't get in, uh, whether it be Vanderbilt or whatever school that you apply to, don't get discouraged. If you get waitlisted, rejected, whatever, it, it honestly doesn't matter. Your life trajectory is not going to just go in a completely opposite direction. It might, but I'm trying to be optimistic here. You could get into your dream school, but at the end of the day, it's what you make out of it. And similarly, if you don't get into your first option, it's still up to you to get the best experience out of it as possible. And there's always transferring, so keep that in mind as well. It's not over for you guys. My best advice that I can give you regarding college is that you'll figure it out. What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? And if you don't figure it out now, you'll figure it out eventually. You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? Anyway, gonna get back to the video. I think Viv and I are going to watch some anime soon, and we're gonna call it a night. I am very tired, and once again, I do apologize for a pretty lame day. Yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.